The following is a rebroadcast of Fox 11 10 o'clock news. And welcome to the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. I'm Phil Schumann. And I'm Susan Hirasuna. Yet another horse has died at Santa Anita Park. That's the 26th since December. Danya Back is live in Arcadia with the latest tonight. Danya. Phil and Susan, a spokesperson for Santa Anita Park, says they tried to do everything possible to save that horse, but they just could not. Now there are new, new renewed calls to make sure that horse racing stops until those horses are protected. At Santa Anita Sunday, the horse racing continued after another horse died following a leg injury at the track Saturday. Cochis, a nine-year-old gelding, was put down, the third horse to die in the last nine days. Well, it's extremely upsetting and it's entirely unacceptable. Kathy Guillermo, senior vice president of PETA, says this latest death shows why horse racing at Santa Anita and other California tracks should be suspended. I applaud Santa Anita for the rules that they put in place already, but clearly they're not far enough. They don't go far enough, and we need stronger regulations so that there's not even one more death at the track. Cochise is the 26th horse to die since the track's racing season opened in December. That's an average of five horses a month. The fatality rates are shocking. Sunday's death comes after a contentious meeting held by the California Horse Racing Board Thursday. Okay, I'm going to stop you. Study. I'm, I'm stopping. These are my three minutes. That, no, These are I'm my sorry. Three minutes. I am stopping you. I want my you. three minutes. Where members of the horse racing industry defended it. Ending horse racing isn't the answer. The answer is to work together to make the establishment a better place for the public, but most importantly, for the horses. Giovanni Franco at the rail. An activist called for change. They are literally racing for their lives and being run into the ground. Santa Anita was close to racing for most of March while authorities studied the racing surface for possible causes contributing to the deaths. National experts conducted days of testing on the track soil, but no problems were found. And that Santa Anita spokesperson tells us that after this latest death, they have no plans to suspend racing here at Santa Anita Park and that it will continue until June 23rd. Reporting live from Arcadia, Danya Backus, Fox 11 News. Thanks, Danya. Well, it's the unofficial start to summer, but here in Southern California, it still feels very much like winter. Rain and unusually cool temperatures stretched across the region today, putting a bit of a chill on folks trying to enjoy the long holiday weekend. Some of them camping out on L.A.'s Dockweiler Beach, which is where Haley Winslow is live tonight. Haley. <laughs> These people out here are crazy. I'm from Florida, and this is freezing. But it's really the wind chill factor, and the few people who are braving it have been out here all day. But this place would normally be packed for Memorial Day weekend, taking up every fire pit to celebrate the holiday. But the rain and cold definitely put a damper on people's plans. A Sky Fox flyover down the LA County coastline, not a typical sight for Sunday on Memorial Day weekend. Gray, cloudy, and quiet, except for the diehards. It's a little gloomy, not very sunny Memorial Day weather. The Santa Monica Mountains are hardly visible. The banner tow, common on holiday weekends, doesn't have many eyes to advertise to. Despite a couple courageous swimmers, perhaps even the lifeguard looks a little bored. David Andrade and his family drove six hours from Phoenix to spend the day at the beach, hoping for much different weather. Sunny, you know, a great weekend, but you know, you can't complain. It's still California. We're still here with the family. Okay, do you think it's cold? No. You're in a bathing suit. I still don't care. His Have niece is one of the brave no. because there aren't many bikinis or board shorts out here. Most are bundled up in beanies, blankets, and Ugg boots, staying warm by the fire. We're from Minnesota. It's cold, known for the coldest state, but California is now colder than us right now. Yeah. Brooklyn Park is so warm. It's so <laughs> sad. Brooklyn Park is like 70 something, and Minnesota is supposed to be known for being cold, and California is supposed to be known for like known for being warm. So that's really crazy. <laughs> Are you wishing you were home? Yeah. Right now? <laughs> Probably head home pretty soon. It looks like it's gonna rain, so don't want to get caught up in that. Uh, too late. A squall comes in from offshore and the rain comes down. People hide under tents and their jackets. Families planning to have a nightside fire say forget it. Throw in the towel, pack up their belongings, and clear out. A 
Dockweiler Beach on Memorial Day weekend quickly becomes deserted. I'm happy that this week is going to be a sunny week. <laughs> Me too. According to AccuWeather, May 2010 was the last time that rain hit LA during the last five days of this month. The good news, tomorrow is supposed to be clear, sunny, with highs in the mid-60s. Otherwise, I'm following those girls back to Minnesota. Reporting live at Dockweiler Beach, Haley Winslow, Fox 11 News. Well, she was smiling about it while she did it. You might as well feel I mean, optimistic. you know, seriously, compared to what we've seen in other parts of the country. True. That know. is absolutely true. But what's ahead? Olga, what kind of rainfall totals did we get? Did really anything significant? You know, for this time of year, it is pretty significant. We're so late in the season, so some of our mountain areas have received about a half inch or so. Uh, we're still going to continue to see those showers in those overnight hours. Some of our coasts and valleys, about a tenth of an inch, a quarter of an inch, and you can see they're on the radar, still very active even at this hour. This has been the case uh, through the entire day across all of our area, and all of us have received some of those uh, showers. Taking a bit of a closer look down into Orange County, and some portions of the Inland Empire getting some pretty moderate rainfall at this hour and uh, into our mountain areas. Of course, this is a very cold storm, so we are getting some snowfall places like Wrightwood and Big Bear getting plenty of showers out there. Uh, some stronger rain. You see some of those yellows and those oranges there on that radar that indicates some heavier rainfall. So places like Redlands and Ukaip are experiencing some of that action at the moment. Because of that snow, if you're traveling out to the mountains in the next few hours, we're looking at some treacherous driving conditions and that winter weather advisory will continue with us at least for the next several hours because of all of that snow, several inches out there. We'll talk a little bit more about what we're expecting for your memorial. Day Monday coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thanks, Olga. An armed suspect injured in an officer involved shooting in Reseda this morning. Officers responded to a call about a woman with a gun in the 8,000 block of Hesperia Ave this morning. They found a woman with a handgun pointed at her head. Officers reportedly tried to talk her into dropping the gun at some point. One officer at least fired, striking the woman. She was taken to the hospital, is listed in stable condition tonight. Neighbors describe the scene. It was loud, loud like super loud, like boom, boom. I was like, whoa. Just heard the gunshot. She was inside the house and I came back out. You know, she was laying there when she was kneeling on the sidewalk earlier. And I came out and I saw the police cars out and they all had their weapons pointed at her. But According to those neighbors, the whole thing started with some kind of a dispute between the woman and her boyfriend. A handgun one was recovered at the scene. A suspected shooter is dead after a standoff with police at a Culver City motel. This all began around 6 this morning when police received reports of someone shot in the neck near Lincoln Boulevard and Flower. Police were told the shooter was at the roadway inn on Washington Boulevard in Culver City. When police contacted the suspected gunman on the phone, he told officers he had a hostage and a bomb with him in the room. Contact with him uh, began to break down, and so a decision was made to uh, introduce gas into the uh, location. Uh, that met with, uh, I'll say, negative results, and unfortunately, uh, during that uh, exchange with the uh, introduction of gas into the location, the, uh, it would appear as though uh, the individual inside uh, committed suicide. Uh, Investigators discovered there was no hostage nor an explosive device inside the room. No officers were hurt. The suspected shooter was reportedly a parolee with an extensive criminal record. Well, some quick-thinking residents of a Highland Park neighborhood worked together to save themselves from a fire. Around 2 o'clock this morning, residents on Benner Street were awakened by flames and explosions. Flames that leapt high into the sky from a carport where vehicles were engulfed. Residents in a nearby apartment building were also threatened by the flames. Our apartment windows shattered. They... Um, some of the units above us, they caught fire, I believe six of them. Our unit thankfully survived it, but there's still just some dam uh, water damage. By the time firefighters arrived, they tell us that six to eight residents had already taken up garden hoses to battle the flames. Fifteen to twenty cars were destroyed. The apartment building received some damage as well, but the structure was saved. All lanes of the northbound 14 freeway in Santa Clarita are now open after a fuel tanker crashed into a sedan and spilled 4,800 gallons of gasoline. The driver of the sedan suffered minor injuries and was taken to the hospital. 
It happened just before 4 a.m. north of Soledad Canyon Road. The freeway was closed for almost 13 hours. No word yet on the cause of the crash. Still ahead of the Fox 11 10 o'clock news, a Northern California doctor killed by a shark swimming in Hawaii. Plus, held hostage until her death in a Chinese labor camp. A local family's unbelievable fight to bring her back home. Sister Salvation, coming up next. It's the Ford Memorial Day Celathon, our biggest Celathon of the year. Get paid to trade with 6,000 trade assist cash on top of your trade in. So if your trade in is worth 5,000, you'll get a total 11,000 toward an Edge SEL. Don't miss it. When you shop for an appliance at Howard's, you get over 70 years of experience serving Southern California, an unheard of 60 day price match guarantee, free next day delivery, and expertise from people like Carol and her 20 years of professional know how. With cheese dippers by the Laughing Cow, you can dunk, do your thing, snack, or twirl. So, however you snack, snack like you. The Laughing Cow. All Family Care provides mosquito protection with a dry formula that's not oily or greasy, so you can keep living life your way. Off, live on. SC Johnson. At our table, wishes do come true. Sparks can fly at any moment. Ooh, I gotta try that. Sharing is a must. And big moments get celebrated. We're all so proud of you. Thank you. Because at BJ's, there's a moment on every plate and a memory at every table. Now at BJ's, get $10 off when you spend $40. Visit BJ'sRestaurants.com for offer. What do you get from that other store? Todd, who just got promoted from gardening. Good luck with that. It's the Howard's Memorial Day sale. Get deals like a Samsung kitchen package for just $17.99. That's 40% off. You don't want to miss it. Go to Howard's. Go home happy. It's the Ford Memorial Day Celathon. Get paid to trade with 8250 trade assist cash on top of your trade in. So if your trade in is worth 6000, that's a total 14250 toward an F150 XLT. Don't miss it. Amazing grace how sweet the sound that said Monday at 8 on Fox 11. Monday, Tyga, Rob, the Kardashians, we're covering it all. Black China makes her Wendy debut. Today at 10 on Fox 11. A Northern California man was killed after a shark attack off of Maui. 65-year-old Thomas Smiley of Granite Bay was swimming about 60 feet off the shore of Kaanapali yesterday when he was attacked. The man was pulled unconscious from the water and did not survive. Experts don't know what kind of shark was responsible for the attack, but they suspect it was a tiger shark. This is the sixth shark attack in Hawaii this year and only the fifth fatal attack in the islands since 1995. Well, passengers aboard the cruise ship Carnival Splendor are not having a very splendid trip so far. The ship was scheduled to depart Long Beach yesterday, but there were mechanical issues which affected the ship's ability to cruise. Technicians worked on that ship in the harbor, so this afternoon they finally were able to get it going and cruisers started their holiday. They say they missed their first stop in Mazatlan. The cruise line tells passengers they will be credited $50. Not enough. Hmm. President Trump's Japan visit got a little wild thanks to a traditional sumo wrestling match. Mr. Trump and Prime Minister Abe also got in a round of golf. The two leaders will get down to more formal business tomorrow. John Roberts is on the trip. It was a first for President Trump, the guest of honor at a sumo wrestling championship. The president, long a fan of American wrestling, handing out the 70-pound President's Trophy to the winner. In honor of your outstanding achievement as sumo grand champion, I hereby award you the United States President's Cup, May 26, Rewa 1, Donald J. Trump, President of the United States. Thank you. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is eager to show off his friendship with the president, earlier taking him for a round of golf. 
but most importantly, inviting him to be the first international leader to meet Japan's newly enthroned Emperor Naruhito. While pomp and ceremony will take up part of the visit, the prickly issue of trade will also take center stage, as President Trump still works to reduce the $58 billion trade deficit with Japan. The Prime Minister and I uh, talked a lot today about trade and military and various other things. I think we had a very productive day, and tomorrow, likewise, will be a very productive day. On trade with Japan, President Trump told Fox News that he is going to wait until after upcoming elections in Japan in July before he really pushes Abe for a trade deal. In Tokyo, John Roberts, Fox News. Shocking allegations made against the Chinese govern government by a California woman who says the communists have held her sister's body in a morgue for almost 20 years after she was allegedly tortured and killed inside a labor camp. Fox 11 has obtained exclusive undercover video from inside those labor camps. It's difficult to watch, but sheds an important light. Bill Malugin has a story uh, on this Fox 11 investigation. A sobbing wife mourns her husband's final moments after he was left in a vegetative state and shackled to his hospital bed following his alleged torture in a Chinese labor camp. He's one of thousands in prison for their beliefs. <laughs> Some left emaciated, others with rotted and blistering skin, allegedly tortured and beaten. Now, Fox 11 is being taken inside those Chinese labor camps with undercover footage never seen before, revealing what life is like for political prisoners, filmed by those willing to risk everything. If the government knew I filmed those videos, I wouldn't be here with you. My life would be gone. <laughs> and one distraught California family is fighting back. <laughs> they say their loved one was tortured and killed in a Chinese labor camp almost 20 years ago. Her body still being held by the camp to this day and they're going directly to the source to get it back. My name is Yifei Wang. The party wants us to forget about my sister, about my brother, and all the others. The family's ordeal, now the subject of a soon-to-be-released explosive documentary. We have undercover footage that they uh, have really taken great risks to get out of China, and this is something that you don't see every day. In 1999, the Chinese government ordered the eradication of the spiritual meditation practice known as Falun Gong, calling it a heretic organization that threatens social stability. <laughs> The government began arresting and imprisoning hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong practitioners and shipped them to labor camps where they were set to be re-educated. This was the scene in Tiananmen Square in 2001 as the Chinese government arrested hundreds of Falun Gong supporters. <laughs> Yifei Wang was there with her sister that day. They were holding signs in support of Falun Gong. Both were arrested, separated, and imprisoned. Yifei was eventually released thanks to a sympathetic guard, but her sister, Kafei, never made it out. After four months spent in a Chinese labor camp, her family was told Kafei died of a heart attack. But after seeing her condition at the hospital, they allege she was tortured to death. And almost 20 years later, they believe her body is still being held by the labor camp. In 2015, Ife's husband Gordon traveled to China and visited the women's labor camp where Kefe died. He filmed undercover video and waited an hour and a half to meet with the new labor camp director. <laughs>
The family ended up leaving the camp empty handed, but Gordon tells Fox 11 he will never stop trying. I wanted to get the truth out about Cafe's death, and I wanted to get her body released. The ordeal has been a burden on Yafe and the family over the years. At the mention of her sister, she becomes emotional as she reminisces. I can't even think about her because when I do, it always breaks my heart. I think about when we were young and would play together. She was a brilliant girl. Ming Yu is a friend of the family. He was also in prison for supporting Falun Gong. I was a very successful businessman. I had a clothing factory. I employed over 100 people. But after the persecution began, I lost my business. Yu tells Fox 11 he was able to shoot this undercover video at a labor camp he was imprisoned at by bribing a guard. He says he filmed it at the notorious labor camp during the 2008 Beijing Olympics, alleging it shows Falun Gong practitioners being forced to work extremely long hours to make products sold all over the world. He says the workers were given no breaks and some were so exhausted they fell asleep under the very tables they were working on. He also filmed this video of a Falun Gong practitioner who he says was severely injured by guards at the camp. You can see he's shackled to his bed and underweight with lesions on his skin. If you're ever caught doing this kind of thing, videotaping the details of what's happening in these camps, you would lose your life. The Chinese Communist Party has a quota of people to be killed, and I am one of them. But these weren't the only videos you smuggled out of China. Using hidden cameras designed as different products, including car keys and a watch, he says he filmed this video of a dying man on his hospital bed. This is what he looked like before his incarceration for supporting Falun Gong. Yu says he was beaten and tortured in captivity. He died in a vegetative state, shackled to his bed. Kay Rubacek is a producer with Swoop Films. They're making a documentary called Finding Courage, which documents the government persecution of Falun Gong and the family's struggle to get Cafe's body back. Not someone who died naturally of a heart attack. We're talking about brutal torture. And, and what for? For standing up for freedom of belief, something we take for granted. Here in Los Angeles, local Falun Gong practitioners rallied to call for the end of the persecution. Some of them holding photos of those who are dead or imprisoned at the hands of the Chinese government. And this was the scene in New York City last week where nearly 10,000 Falun Gong practitioners marched to also call for an end to the persecution. Some held signs saying, Free Sister's Body, a reference to the remains of Cafe Wang. A heart attack on a 30-year-old woman is, of course, the typical lie you get from totalitarian regimes. Sean Steele serves as Republican National Committeeman of California. His wife is Orange County Supervisor Michelle Steele, whose family fled their own brutal regime in North Korea. If we're talking about China, talking about them being an adversary for the 21st century, we got to talk about their human rights uh, record. And according to Amnesty International, that record is amongst the worst. So Amnesty International has documented severe and widespread human rights violations uh, against Falun Gong practitioners. Um, we have documented cases of torture, inhumane uh, practices, um, lack of freedom of expression. Your reaction to the video we just showed you for this story? It's uh, unbelievable. It's almost too much for television, but it's such an important story because there's millions of people involved, but it's also personal. It's Los Angeles, it's California. It's what people in this state have been living with for years, and finally the story is getting out. If we put a spotlight on it, it might actually help save the lives of many, many people we don't even know. <laughs> Skyfox is over the uh, this scene. It's the end of a police pursuit in the Compton area. This is around Wilmington and Plum near Rosecrans. We've been keeping an eye on that car there. There's a suspect there believed to have a weapon. Uh, there's not a lot of information yet. As we zoom out, you can see a number of uh, LAPD units behind that silver sedan that's parked on the side of the road. It's the end of a pursuit. The suspect's still inside, um, not cooperating. Clearly. They say he, he tried to assault a police officer. Um, the spice stri a spike strip was used to bring the pursuit to a close. And now, a familiar scene, we've just seen this, this standoff while 
Uh, you can't hear this, but typically they'll be Oh, it's interesting. Using okay, commands, so now, now they're officers out of the right. cars. They have their guns, and they are not pointing it at the car, but clearly what we can't hear are the commands that are uh, being issued to get the suspect out of the car. They're on the passenger side. Looks like they broke a window trying to open the door. So we keep an eye on what's going on. Apparently this pursuit started from the South L.A. area, and this is the LAPD Southeast Division. The pursuit was not a long one, and it was stopped thanks to spike strips. But now they've got the passenger side open. <coughs> Keeping an eye out to see whether or not there was indeed passengers, maybe passengers uh, in the car, getting those people out first. And that was an unusual tactic from what we've seen in the past, wasn't it? Approaching the it's, car well, like that? Particularly because the suspicion is, is that the suspect, the driver, has a gun. So um, perhaps there has been some kind of communication. Sometimes that's the case where they're able to talk to the person via cell phone. So maybe that was the situation where the person said, I put the gun down or, um, you know, there are other people in this car. But yeah, it was, it was kind of surprising. I've definitely seen situations where the officers appear to be far more agitated, where they recognize that they are approaching a situation where, um, <clears throat> where there is some danger. So it's hard to see, but that, you, can you see, see the officer definitely pointing. see someone in the driver's seat. You oh, okay. can't tell whether there's anyone else in the car. And then we have, what, one, two, three, four, five officers right there. So the officer that is pointing a weapon that might be a taser gun as opposed to a firearm. And you see a little movement there on the driver's side of this sedan. Does it look like he's talking with them, perhaps? I would imagine that they're talking at the very least. Again, all this is at Rosecrans and uh, Wilmington in, in the Compton area, the end of a pursuit. Some kind of an ambush on a police officer. That was uh, one of the suggestions that started all this. Again, now they're... Now they're coming around to the driver's side. They're coming around, and is, is that a shield? Yeah. That he's holding? But st even still, it's sort of... Um, you know, usually time is on the officers. Yeah, usually they wait. They bring in that bear cat and we've they, seen. Right, the and then vehicle. they let the person yeah. get out on their own. But I wonder if it's a woman. Is it possibly a woman? And now so they're clearly, moving in, it yeah, looks like, and I've removed them by... Forcibly. Bodily, right. So clearly they're not uh, worried about a weapon. I don't think they'd be quite that uh, open and outside of. Okay, so see they one the person's person down out. on the ground. It's like they're clearing the vehicle. See if anybody else is inside. Doesn't look like it. So it's possible that, although this doesn't make a lot of sense in light of what we thought this was to start, it might be an older woman which may have disarmed, so to speak, the police officers and, and made them uh, realize that they had to approach this with a different kind of attitude than if it was a suspect with a gun, a male suspect with a gun, a female suspect with a gun. If you're dealing with somebody that perhaps um, is older and does not have full faculties, we're not sure. All right, well, we'll definitely get some more information on this one. It looks like uh, code four, to use uh, police terminology, that looks like they have the suspect in custody at the end of pursuit. Nobody appears to be injured. This at the Compton area. And uh, we're going to leave this for now and update you when we, we get some, some new info. And we'll be right back after this. Fox 11 Fast Lane is powered by the Toll Roads. You already know the toll roads get you places faster. And now you can keep your account up to date just as quick. The free Toll Roads app is a smart way to manage your account information anywhere, anytime. Buying or selling a car? You can add or remove a vehicle using the app. Change of address or credit card expired? Updating is easy. Review account activity and make a payment all in the palm of your hand. Download the app today or visit thetollroads.com and enjoy the drive. Go to foxla.com and click on the Toll Roads banner to sign up or pay online. Cake in the conference room. Showing them you're ready to be your own boss. That's the beauty of your smile. 
Bring out the best in it with Crest 3D White. Crest removes 95% of surface stains in just three days. Crest, healthy, beautiful smiles for life. She's doing it again. No cover-up spray here. Cheaper aerosols can cover up odors, burying them in a flowery fog. Switch to Febreze Air Effects. Febreze eliminates even the toughest odors from the air. Freshen up, don't cover up Febreze. I was rear-ended uh, by a, a vehicle at 80 miles an hour. I was at the supermarket, I slipped and it fell. It was extremely painful. I was electrocuted on the back lot of a production studio. It was really traumatic, it was um, really scary. Don't deal with the insurance company, call Ellis Law. We can help. I'm glad I had Ellis Law. He got me $450,000. I ended up with $1.3 million. Call Ellis Law at 1-800-INJURED. Call 1-800-INJURED. Never choose between keeping your kitchen safe or being tough on ants. Because new Raid Ant and Roach, infused with plant-based active ingredients, lets you have both. Safely defend your kitchen. It's good to be tough. S.C. Johnson. The assumption is... Everyone's next car is going to be an SUV. You sure about that? Presenting the 400 horsepower 2019 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400. Lease the Infiniti Q50 for $299 a month or finance at 1.9% APR for 72 months. Visit your Southern California Infiniti retailer. At Universal Studios Hollywood, the California Neighbor Pass is back. So you can go on over 175 days of adventures. Explore Hogsmeade Village one day. Take a scenic drive the next. And on a random Tuesday, spend a day at Gru's house. But please, wear pants. Begin your adventures today and come back this summer for the new Dark Arts at Hogwarts Castle and Jurassic World The Ride. The California Neighbor Pass. Get over 175 days for just $149 online. I used to be a one-cheese operation, but me and Crunchy here make a great team. We even finish each other's... You're supposed to say sentences. Sentences? Well, not now. Delicious new Baby Bell cheese and crackers. I saved it. We're back at 1030, a follow-up to a story we first brought you back in December. A mom of twins who needed a bone marrow transplant to fight leukemia now needs another miracle. Susie Rabaka gave birth to twins Ryan and Rainey in December, just weeks after being diagnosed with an aggressive form of leukemia. Through Be The Match registry, she was matched with a bone marrow donor and underwent a transplant weeks after the delivery. But the cancer has now returned, and Rebecca will need another marrow transplant. So today, her family hosted a birthday party to cheer her up and increase donors to Be The Match registry. So I'm just happy to be here with all my family. I get to celebrate my birthday, and I got to get uh, people on the registry so I can get another donor, get another transplant. More than 85,000 signed up for the registry after hearing the story the first time. The challenge again will be to find the right match since she is of mixed race, Latina and Caucasian. Only 3% of Be The Match registry is mixed race. If you think you can help, go to bethematch.org slash Susie to join on her behalf. Weirdest Memorial Day weekend. It doesn't feel I like Memorial remember. Day. I know. It's raining. It's snowing. I mean, this is very unusual for this time of year. The good news is it is going to dry out for your Memorial Day Monday, but it is still going to be pretty cloudy and cool and a little windy out there as well. So take a look at that radar. It is still very active. But first, here's a look at our beaches. So a lot of people usually during the weekend of that Memorial Day, they like to head out to the ocean. Uh, not quite as crowded as usual and, of course, very cloudy. 
cloudy out there as well because of all the rain. It's been scattered showers actually throughout much of your Sunday. Uh, it'll be a little bit better tomorrow, but still definitely on the cooler side. Those temperatures below average. So here's what it looks like right now. This is that three hour loop on that radar. So most of that activity has been confined out in the Inland Empire and down into Orange County as well. We've been getting some light to moderate numbers. However, for the end of May, this is pretty unusual. Uh, here's a look at our mountains as well as we are getting some snow in places like Wrightwood out there in Big Bear as well. But we're even seeing some of those oranges and yellows up, pop up on the radar. That does indicate some of those uh, more moderate and heavy showers as well. As far as those winds, it has definitely been breezy today as well. So still some double digit sustained winds in places like Oxnard, LA, as well as Palmdale. Uh, we actually had a wind advisory out in the Antelope Valley. That's since expired, but we do still have it for the mountains of San Bernardino County, as well as Riverside County, down into the Coachella Valley as well. That continues through the early part of Monday. And then also through the early part of Monday, we have some dangerous travel conditions for our mountain areas. So we do have that winter weather advisory that continues for several more hours, and that is across all of our mountain areas. Temperature wise, yes, it's definitely been a cool day as well. Today only 62 degrees, so we are down from yesterday and definitely below those seasonal numbers. Average this time of year is 75 degrees. It's going to be a little bit warmer tomorrow. However, it's still not getting up to those regular numbers. So for tomorrow, for Memorial Day, expect 65 degrees by the coast, a little warmer for LA, 67 degrees, and for the valleys and the Inland Empire, also some upper 60s. We'll start warming things up as we head towards the middle and latter part of the week. Those 70s are back in the forecast. Actually, we have near 80s for the valleys and the IE on Wednesday and Thursday. And then for the mountains, still some lingering showers. We could also get a few showers uh, by the middle of the week for the mountains as well. So still a little bit cloudy out there, but not quite as rainy as it was today. And then, of course, don't forget to download that Fox 11 Weather Authority app and you can see that radar and see when that rain and that snow approaches your area. I'll send it back to you. All right, Olga, thanks. Coming up, the Wounded Warriors Project brings some veterans and Ferraris together to a racetrack for some high-speed action. Pablo Balsina has that next. Today's Daily Deal presented by Jacoby and Myers. Have you been injured in an accident? For more than 40 years, Jacoby and Myers has helped injured people and their families get the justice and settlement they deserve. Call 1-800-992-2222 for your free consultation or visit FoxLA.com and click on the Jacoby and Myers banner to find out how we can help you with your injury claim. How do you feel when you look in the mirror? I felt heavy and I looked heavy. It's hard sometimes to believe that's me. Do you wish you could have slimmer hips, thighs, and a flat stomach? Now you can. America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, Sonobello, has made it easier and more affordable than ever to get the body you've always wanted. Using advanced microlaser technology, our board-certified plastic surgeons remove hard-to-lose fat in as little as one day. I look in mirrors now and I'm like, dang, that girl looks good. For your free no-obligation consultation, call 855-417-8986 and get $250 towards looking your very best. The best investment you could make is in yourself. A hundred percent. I wish I would have done it sooner. Call now and get $250 off. Payment plans are available. Don't wait one more day. For a free consultation, call 855-417-8986 now. attractions and then there's our world famous on road attraction the 2019 glc lease the glc 300 suv for just 479 a month at your local mercedes-benz dealer mercedes-benz the best or nothing you're a person and you can check if you're eligible on netcredit.com without affecting your credit score you may even be able to build your credit history as you repay netcredit a more personal personal loan Visit netcredit.com today. So, the Princess and Pony bundle? You are getting a great deal. Yeah, those are goats. Exactly, which is why you're getting the discount. 
in the face painting. Oh, kids actually love to do that themselves. How about we settle up? And that is without gratuity. Without? Don't get stuck in the bat bundle. Switch to reliable AT&T fiber and get speeds up to 300 megabits per second and direct TV. Bundle for $75 a month for 12 months. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-CALL-ATT. Every superhero has their kryptonite. Gentlemen. <laughs> Girls. Hey, guys. I just got the most amazing... <laughs> Mothers. Mommy needs a fuck Of course. <laughs> the common cold. Rub Vicks on my chest. You can rub your own chest. Grope every other man on the planet, but draw the line with me. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory. Weeknights at 7.30 on Fox 11. I feel empowered. Going back now to our breaking news, Sky Fox over the situation in the Compton area around Rosecrans and uh, Wilmington. Apparently, this car appeared to be following a cop car, and that's what concerned them. And they called for backup and then followed the car and then discovered that instead of a suspect with a gun, it perhaps might have been uh, an elderly driver or something like that. Yeah, this information from the LAPD, uh, not a lot of details yet on the ID of the suspect, but they say they were concerned about possible ambush. This car was falling too close. They tried to stop it. There was a brief pursuit. It all ended with that suspect being taken into custody that we had for you live earlier. And meantime, you, you don't see it now, but we did see as the police officers came out of those vehicles and then approached the suspect from the passenger side. But all in all, it all ended quietly and peacefully. So we will uh, have more information if it becomes available. Great one who summons me, I stand by my oath, loyalty to wishes three. I'm kidding, watch this. Disney's remake of Aladdin crushed the competition at the box office this holiday weekend, raking in more than $86 million. It'll likely pass $100 million by tomorrow. In second place, John Wick, Chapter 3, 24 mil. Third place, Avengers Endgame, 17 mil. Pokemon, Detective Pikachu in fourth. And the uh, low-budget horror movie, Brighton, in fifth place with $7.5 million. Very good. The Wounded Warrior Project, you've heard of that, provides programs that help veterans and active duty service members as well. Programs that include auto racing. Well, recently, our Pablo Alcina had the chance to spend the day with the organization and five vets who enjoyed the need for speed. Pablo Alcina at Auto Club Speedway. I am honored to be here with five U.S. veterans. They're here because of the Wounded Warrior Project. Time to go racing. Run them in, just baby! <laughs> Sergeant First Class Ramirez, 20 years in the United States Army. All right, Jeff, you're gonna try to break that record? I feel the need, the need for speed. Oh, yeah. Petty Officer First Class Nicole East, how are you feeling? I'm feeling wonderful today. Are you having a good time? I'm having a blast. Have fun, baby. Let's rock and roll. Thank you for your service. Yes, sir. Thank you. Petty Officer First Class Nicole East, U.S. Navy, 15 years. I was a shell of a person when I got out. I was angry, I didn't like going out. We knew Warrior Project saved my life. I think I've been up to about 140. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little challenge. Jeff got it up to 154. Brian, do you think you can top that? Uh, 154 should be easy in this thing. Sergeant Brian Fleming, Marine Corps Infantry for eight years. I have no regrets for my time in the service. I would do every bit of it over and over again. Got the top speed up to 140. Ooh. 140. It handles kind of like a tank, but it's got so much power, it's unbelievable. Are you ready, Todd? Yes, I am. Go have fun. I've been waiting. Thank you. <laughs> Todd Liebman, Staff Sergeant, 14 years, Army. Cars are my thing, and I love fast cars, and this is honestly a dream come true for me. Didn't quite get the one that I wanted, but 149, I'll take it. Welcome to all this U.S. Army specialist, four years. Wonder Warrior Project has helped me in my recovery by giving me an assistance in getting out of the house, stopping isolation, doing other social outreach projects, and just encouragement in everyday life. 
59. It's a new record, it's, baby! He's absolutely amazing. This is just the blast of a day. Who do we have to thank for this great event? We have Galpin to thank, we have Fast Choice to thank, and also a good guy, Mendy Carlbach, who set this up in the very beginning. Thanks a lot yeah. for your time. I no, fantastic. It. You did great. Here with these amazing veterans from the U.S. Armed Forces. Did you guys have fun today, Nicole? Complete blast. Absolutely amazing. Marco, your favorite part? Honestly, the whole thing. It was just amazing. Great experience overall. Todd? Absolutely amazing. How fast did you go? Over 150 miles an hour. With Wounded Warrior Project, we like to get a lot of people out here that do a lot of different events, but our main thing is to connect, serve, and empower these veterans. One more time. Awesome, Pablo. Thanks. Coming up in sports, the U.S. women played their final game before saying bon voyage for France, and the Angels get a key arm back in the rotation. Plus, there were career days and lots of runs for the Dodgers in Pittsburgh. Sports is next. It's Ford's Memorial Day Celathon, our biggest celathon of the year. Right now, lease a 2019 Escape or Flex for just $2.19 a month with only $9.99 due at signing. Hurry in for the Memorial Day Celathon. This deal won't last forever. I used to be a one cheese operation, but me and Crunchy here make a great team. We even finish each other's. You're supposed to say sentences. Sentences? Well, not now. Delicious new Baby Bell cheese and crackers. I saved it. The Ontario Auto Center huge Memorial Day sale is on point and on now because this sale is too big for just one day. Right now, you can save on thousands of new and used cars all at one point where the 10 and 15 meet. So come on down. Ontario Auto Center. You know those butterflies aren't actually in the room. Hey, that baker lady's on TV again! She's not a baker. She wears that apron to sell insurance. Nobody knows why. She's the progressive insurance lady. They cover pets if your owner gets into a car accident. Covers us with what? You got me. Ugh, she's an insurance lady. And I suppose this baker sells insurance too? Progressive protects your pets like you do. You can see The Secret Life of Pets too, only in theaters. To Simone, I leave the Van Gogh. To Harrison, the wine collection. To Craig, this rock. The redwoods to the redheads, the rainbows to the proud. I leave these things to my heirs, all 39 million of you, on one condition, that you do everything in your power to preserve and protect them. With love, California. It's the Ford Memorial Day Celathon, our biggest Celathon of the year. Get paid to trade with 6,000 trade assist cash on top of your trade in. So if your trade in is worth 5,000, you'll get a total 11,000 toward an Edge SEL. Don't miss it. Come on, let's play. Look at her go. Fire! Fireman. Are you in the movies? That's right, Hot Bench. <laughs> To find Buzzer TV in the Los Angeles area, go to buzzerplay.com. All right. It's that time again. Yes, Liz Aviva is here with sports. Now I know how you felt during the World Series. Oh. In what regard? You know, Split Dodgers, Oh, you mean Boston. like divided loyalty? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because it was Pirates-Dodgers. Oh, yes. I, okay. <laughs> That's a tough one for me. I'm a, a native of Pittsburgh. I grew up loving the Pirates. You know, we are family. Yeah, but covering the Dodgers for many years, going to the World Series a couple years in a row now, well, it's been, well, you know, I can't complain. Lately, L.A. hasn't made it easy for the Steel City, going 16-2 and two against them since 2017, and that improved on today. Swings at the first pitch and sends a high drive to right center and deep. Corey Seager, long gone. Listen, I love that park, Pansy Park. Excuse me as I reminisce for a moment. <laughs> it's one of the nicest parks. Seager and the bomb and souvenir for a Dodgers fan. The Dodgers have started with a lead in every game in this series. Justin Turner had a day. He had a career high five hits in the game. He's the first Dodger to do that on the road in over five years. Rookie Matt Beatty would knock in Turner later in the fifth. He had four RBIs in the game. Matt Beatty. Got it? Remember that. The last Dodger to do that was Cody Bellinger in 2017. Jock Peterson hadn't hit a home run in nine days, so might as well do it against my team. They win 11-7. to They sweep the Pirates for the second time this season. 
And that is skied high and deep towards center field. Santana back near the wall. He'll leap up. Goal! Big fly for Mike Trout. A towering shot gives the Angels the 1-0 lead. I appreciate that Santana thought he even had a chance right there. Mike Trout gets the scoring going in the beginning of the game, and it was a factor at the end. Heaney, Andrew Heaney's back. The good news, he struck out eight and gave up just two hits. Bad news is they were both home runs. He won a strong five innings. Game tied at five in the seventh, and Trout is going to come around to score on the pass ball. They take the lead six to five. Very next pitch, a wild pitch. Check out the slide by Cole Calhoun. Yeah, he's safe. The Angels would hold on and win it 7-6. They got their second comeback win in a row. Good for them. The U.S. women's national team played Mexico today in their final tune-up before the World Cup. The game started with such a great moment. Please welcome 96-year-old World War II veteran Pete Dupre. How about 96-year-old Petey right there on the harmonica? It was wonderful. He did a great Couldn't job. Couldn't have found a woman. Uh, Mexico's defense didn't do such a great job. They lost track of the ball, and Tobin Heath scores an easy goal. The U.S. wins 3-0. Now the women are headed to France. We are your home for the Women's World Cup. The American women are looking to defend their title, and it all kicks off right here on Fox 11 on June 7th. The United States will play Thailand on June 11th. One final note. Packers Hall of Fame quarterback Bart Starr passed away at the age of 85. That's all for sports. We'll be right back. Get weather alerts and forecasts on the go. Download the Fox 11 Weather Authority app now. Hey, Ryan. Hey, Greg. Listen, um, it's becoming a little bit of a problem uh, that you aren't using your real arms. Hmm. <laughs> Everybody knows you're using the fake arms so that you can keep playing tune blast what are you talking about if you'll excuse me my burrito's getting cold yeah no eat oh no. I'm so hungry all right go 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 go, go, go. leave it Sleep. steak prices shouldn't make you cry starting from 7.99 try our classic country fried steak or famous sirloin or upgrade to a thick and juicy hand cut t-bone all served with two farm fresh eggs, crispy golden hash browns, and Norm's famous made from scratch buttermilk hotcakes. Starting at just $7.99. All day, every day, but only for a limited time. No! It's the Memorial Day Super Sale only at Ortho Mattress. Save up to 50% off all Ortho mattresses. Save up to $700 on select Tempur-Pedic adjustable sets and 60 months interest-free financing. We'll deliver, set up, and remove your old mattress for free without a middleman markup. The Ortho Mattress Memorial Day Sale, only at Ortho Mattress. Ortho Mattress. I was on the fence about changing from a manual to an electric toothbrush, but my hygienist said going electric could lead to way cleaner teeth. She said get the one inspired by dentists with the round brush head. Go pro with Oral-B. Oral-B's gentle rounded brush head removes more plaque along the gum line for cleaner teeth and healthier gums. And unlike Sonicare, Oral-B is the first electric toothbrush brand accepted by the ADA for its effectiveness and safety. What an amazing clean. I'll only use an Oral-B. Oral-B, brush like a pro. From the start, the C-Class was ahead of its time. Still, we never stopped making it stronger. Faster, smarter, because to be the best is to never, ever stop making it better. The 2019 C-Class family. Lease the C300 sedan for just $4.19 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Mercedes-Benz, the best or nothing. We're going to have a talk show up in here. We're going to laugh, lift people up, and remind them what life's all about. RuPaul, starting June 10th on Fox 11. A somber reminder on this Memorial Day weekend from a group that will not let us forget what it's all about. This is the memorial known as Arlington West. These crosses have been planted next to the Santa Monica Pier every Sunday from sunrise to sunset. This display comes courtesy of the group known as Veterans for Peace, 
and they create this memorial to remember the fallen and the wounded and to remind viewers of the human cost of war. Mm -hmm. Well, um, go ahead, give us your last check on weather, and then the we'll literal have a sweet moment. <laughs> okay, so this is the official, the unofficial start to summer. Not quite feeling like it, of course. Still some cool conditions tomorrow. The good news is things are going to start drying out, uh, but temperatures will still be below average. We'll start warming up by the middle of the week, getting back into some of those uh, 70s for you, though. So it's a bittersweet moment because after six years on Fox 11, Olga is moving on to bigger and better things, perhaps? Yeah, different things. Different Absolutely. things, yes. I do want to make it clear. I'm so grateful for all the amazing opportunities I've had here at Fox, both reporting and, of course, uh, delivering your weather forecast. Thank you so much for allowing me into your homes every weekend and during the week as well. But I am going to be moving on and I'm going to be doing media relations. So... I'm going to be stalking you guys. <laughs> I'm going to be seeking you guys out so we can get coverage for an environmental agency that I'm going to be working for. Mm -hmm. It's the South Coast Air Quality Management District. And uh, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this new adventure. And uh, I'll be starting in about a week or so. Well, good okay. luck, and we're Enjoy definitely going to miss you. And don't yeah. be a thank stranger. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you for all your support over the The preceding was a rebroadcast of Fox 11 10 o'clock news. It's the Ford Memorial Day Celathon. Get paid to trade with 8250 Trade Assist Cash on top of your trade in. So if your trade in is worth 6000, that's a total 14250 toward an F150 XLT. Don't miss it. All Family Care provides mosquito protection with a dry formula that's not oily or greasy so you can keep living life your way. Off, live on. SC Johnson. When we switched to AAA insurance and we bundled our home and auto, we were shocked at the savings. Not only did we increase our coverage significantly, but we also saved hundreds of dollars. I switched to AAA because I saved over $450. That makes a big difference in my budget. Switch to AAA insurance today and you could save an average of $508 on auto insurance. Compare that to GEICO, State Farm, even Allstate. Call now for your free auto insurance quote to find out how much you could save. You will also receive a $100 travel certificate when you switch to AAA insurance. Because of the savings that we get from having AAA insurance, we're able to do more of the things that we love. We might go to the spa, go to the concert, go out to eat. Yeah, it makes me feel good about spending the money where I know we've already saved it. <laughs> <laughs> to find out how much you could save by switching to AAA insurance, call 877-413-2856 for your free auto insurance quote today. AAA Insurance, helping you save more. So, the Princess and Pony bundle? You are getting a great deal. Yeah, those are goats. Exactly, which is why you're getting the discount. In the face painting? Oh, kids actually love to do that themselves. How about we settle up? And that is without gratuity. Without? Don't get stuck in the bat bundle. Switch to reliable AT&T fiber and get speeds up to 300 megabits per second and direct TV. Bundle for $75 a month for 12 months. Limited availability may not be in your area. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-800-CALL-ATT. Hello, I'm Fletcher Jones, Jr. If you think driving a Mercedes-Benz or Audi is out of your reach, listen to this. All of our Southern California dealerships are having a huge 96-hour Memorial Day sale you can't afford to miss. Over 5,000 Mercedes-Benz and Audi models have been reduced. This is your best opportunity to save more than ever on the luxury car of your dreams. Visit FletcherJones.com to unlock your Memorial Day sale pricing. This 96-hour Memorial Day sale is so big, you don't want to miss it. Audi Beverly Hills, a Fletcher Jones company. I used to be a one-cheese operation, but me and Crunchy here make a great team. We even finish each other's... You're supposed to say sentences. Sentences? Well, not now. Delicious new Baby Bell cheese and crackers. Say that.